everyone. Today we're going to learn all about expenses and profit. And to do that, why don't you come along with me and make a little breakfast. First, I need my coffee. To learn about expenses and profit, we're going to have our own business plan of making breakfast tacos. We're going to learn all about the cost of the ingredients, and how much profit we make. But first, let's take a look at those two vocabulary words. Cost is the price of something. Profit is the money made minus expenses. All right, so now that you know a little bit more about expenses or cost and profit, then I can give you a little bit of information about my breakfast tacos. So here are the different expenses that it took to make the breakfast tacos. So the sausage cost $4.79, eggs cost $3.29, cheese cost $3.98, and tortillas $2.86. Then I sold the tacos for $3.50 each, and I sold 10 tacos or this recipe made 10 tacos. So now, to be able to figure out all of my expenses, what do you think I should do with all of these different ingredients? All right, you got it. I need to add those ingredients together to find the total of all of the breakfast taco um, things that I used. So why don't you pause the video, find the total expenses for my tacos. All right, let's check your work. So I'm just gonna add them together. You might have broken it up and added two of them and then the other two. I'm gonna just do all four all at once. Okay, nine plus nine is 18. And I do like to write down some little notes on the side to help me work through this. Um, eight plus six is 14. And then I sometimes just add it up on the side if I don't wanna just rely on mental math because I can make mistakes sometimes. Okay, three and seven make 10. Okay, then 10 plus two is 12. Okay, so I'm going to start writing it down over here. 12 plus, okay, let's do 9 and 8 is 17. And then I can add it up on the side. That makes it so much easier. Okay, now let's add these up. 2 plus 4 is 6. Plus 3 is 9. Plus another 3 is 12 plus two is 14. So I spent $14.92 on the ingredients for the breakfast tacos. So that has to go into my whole idea of how much profit I made, because my profit is the amount I made on the 10 tacos minus my all of my expenses. So let's see. Now we have to think about the the how much money I made on the tacos. If I made 10 tacos and sold them for $3.50 each, can you pause the video and see how much I made on the tacos? All right, so you may have done several different things. Some people might have just added up $3.50 10 times. So each of those tacos, you're adding at $3.50. I want to show you something that's pretty cool. So I like to think about some mental math strategies. So 10 times just $3, what is that? Well, that would be $30. Okay, so if I sold them for $3, it would be $30. If I sold them for $4, what would that be? 
$40. Great job. So what do you think about $3.50? Does anyone see a shortcut there? Ooh, some of you might have noticed that that is half of a dollar, right? So it's halfway between three and four. So what is halfway between 30 and 40? Yay, $35. So that is a quick way to do that. You could add up that 10 times, but you could also think about some mental math strategies. So $35 is how much we made on those tacos, but we also had our expenses. So let's think about what I taught you. So profit means the amount you made minus the expenses it took to make your product. Okay, so would you pause the video and find the answer to that? Okay, I'm going to help check your work by writing it out. So it's going to take some regrouping. I'm seeing this zero minus two cents. I can't do that. So I'm going to come over here, take one hole in the ones place, make it into 10 tenths. Then I'm going to take a tenth and make it into 10 hundredths. If you're not familiar with this, I do have a video on adding and subtracting. And so you might want to go back and look at that to get down this algorithm. So 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 9. Okay, then bring the decimal point straight down. 4 minus 4. And 3 minus 1 is $20 and 8 cents. So that means that my profit, the money that I get to keep here is $20 and eight cents on my breakfast tacos. Great job. All right, now let's assemble all of the breakfast tacos and make some profit. Okay, so we have a couple more vocabulary words to learn about. We've been talking about expenses, and there's two different types of expenses. There's fixed is the first one we're going to learn about, and that is an expense that stays the same from month to month. Then we have variable expenses. Those are expenses that change from month to month. All right, now that you know more about what fixed and variable means, I have some examples over on the side of household expenses, and I want you to tell me where I should put these things. So what do you think about a water bill? Would that be fixed or variable? All right, you got it. It's going to be variable because depending on the month, that is going to change. I might use more water one month than another month. All right, what do you think about movies? Okay, that is definitely variable because that can change. One month I may decide not to go to the movies because it's not in my budget. And one month I may decide that, oh, I have plenty of money to spend on movies. All right, what do you think about a house payment? That is fixed. You got it. That's going to be the same amount every month. It, does, it stays the same from month to month. What about my car insurance? You got it, it's also fixed. That's gonna stay the same. And then shopping, let's say it's clothes shopping or just for fun. All right, that's gonna change from month to month. Great job. Great work today, everyone. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. Bye.